Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Alright, my name is uh, Ayodi Lady Kazu. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the quantitative uh, aspect of uh, practical chemistry for alternative B 2024. Okay, it's called sort analysis. Okay, the sort given for uh, the alternative B for this year is uh, called ammonium trisocarbonate. Okay, ammonium you can see it on the screen, ammonium trisocarbonate. Now, ammonium trisocarbonate can decompose to give us ammonia, um, to give us uh, water, and to produce carbon dioxide. Right. But that's not what we are looking at now. We are looking at what are the ions or the gas we can quickly test for or analyze under ammonium carbonate. You can test for as NH3 gas or CO. Uh, two gas. You can also test for CO3 to minus ions. So are the three things that we are going to quickly look at under this uh, analysis. So let's quickly begin. Okay. All right. I have my apparatus here. I have my boiling tube. You can see my boiling tube. Can see my boiling tube. So let's quickly look at how the question might look like. It's just uh, for students and uh, tutors to be aware of what might likely come out. So, for instance, if you are asked to take a spatula full of uh, of ammonium carbonate, okay, in a boiling tube, you can see it in a boiling tube. All right, okay, you can see that in a boiling tube. You can be asked now to add, let's say, for instance, like ten ml. Of the still water, I have my distilled water here. Okay, I'm adding it quickly now. That's my 10 ml of uh, distilled water. We want to see whether it will be soluble uh, in water or not. So let's shake thoroughly. Let's shake thoroughly. Now shaking. Can you see it's dissolving? It's dissolving. It's dissolving. Yeah, it's dissolving. Ammonium trouser carbonate salt so is soluble in water. Can you see? It's dissolving. I guess it's as totally. Uh, oh, it means still remains small particle for it to be dissolved. All right, hope you are seeing it. All right, small particle inside. All in all, is a soluble salt. It's a salt that we actually ah, dissolve. Okay, this salt has totally dissolved. Okay, you can see it now. Now, let's look at uh, some of the tests we can uh, handle on this. Now, for your table, you are going to have test, observation, and inference. So, under your table, you say this is sample called Fn. It's labeled plus water. That will be under your test. And your observation will now be uh, sample F or F is soluble in uh, water to give a colorless solution. Can you see? The solution is colorless. So our inference now, we're going to have something like sample F is a soluble salt. Okay. So let's look at some other predictions of text that, we can, that can be conducted on this particular reaction. Let's say now we have to test with litmus paper. Okay. If you are testing with litmus paper, Let's see. You no, know, we have two types of litmus paper. So we see the one that uh, uh, we have reactions on it. Litmus paper. Okay. So let's put it down the litmus paper. This is litmus paper. It's already damp. Can you see? It's a damp litmus paper. This is red litmus paper. All right. Let's check the reaction with red litmus paper. Can you see? I turn red litmus paper into blue. Okay, red must be turned to blue. Let's check also with uh, blue litmus paper whether there will be any reaction. Of course, there can't be any reaction. Okay? 
okay that's to tell you uh this solution turn red litmus paper blue so what will be our our recording how we do our table so the second column now might be the solution above plus litmus paper then what do you have turn red litmus paper blue the solution is an alkaline solution okay we can put it that way so let's divide this solution into four okay let's play divide the solution into four i have my test tube here okay so that we can carry out some tests or analysis on them one two and three all right i have my solution i have my four solution divided okay one two three four so we'll carry out different tests on all the uh solution okay all right let's look at if you the first uh test say okay this solution now this solution we are seeing in a plus sodium hydroxide solution plus sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide this is solution plus sodium hydroxide okay This is my sodium hydroxide. I'm adding it. Of course, there will be no reaction. There will be no what? Reaction. No reaction take place. Adding sodium hydroxide. So the next thing to do is uh, that sodium hydroxide. You can be asked. So you can be asked uh, to add or to do a warm heating or to heat gently to have a, a warm heating. So under that, we're going to say. Uh, your reaction a portion or part of what you have plus so that my dog there no precipitate then no reaction okay we are going to make use uh of our lighter quickly so we are going to have a gentle warming what do i have a gentle warming there all right so let's see how the reaction would look like So let's see, let's see, that's my heat source. I expect to have my litmus paper on here. I expect to have my litmus paper on, you can see there. When you look at it, there's a gas being evolved. The gas has turned my uh, litmus paper hot blue. You can see. Okay. Now we can also confirm uh, this particular reaction. We can also confirm this particular reaction. This is ammonia gas. Of course, when you smell it, if you perceive the smell, it is uh, choking. Another word you can use, urgent. Another word you can use, irritating. Okay, uh, gas evolve. We turn red litmus paper blue. Turn red litmus paper blue. And then the last one here, it turns uh, this experiment. I'm going to perform now. You will see what will happen to the experiment quickly. All right. When you add conch uh, HCl to it, it turned dense white foam. Can you see it? Can you see it? Wow, wow. This is to confirm the presence of ammonia gas. Can you see it now? This is what we call dense white film. Dense uh, white film. Did you get that? Now, how do I record into my table? My table has a plus it. Then I will have a colorless, I will have uh, a colorless gas. Okay, which is choking, or I can use cogent, or I can use irritating smell. Okay, which turn red litmus paper blue and form dense white foam with what with conk XC. Yeah. I think I'm done with uh, this particular uh, color of confirming the presence of what of uh, ammonia gas. Let's really go to another portion. 
let's take another portion this time around this portion let's see how we can add let's see what we can add our hydrochloric acid let's add our hydrochloric acid let's see the reaction we're going to have where are your hydrochloric acid of course you need your litmus paper ready down of course we also need uh your lime water for the sake of time we might not be able to uh, uh perform that one here but quickly now they're going to show you how to react hydrochloric acid with this particular reaction you can see it now okay let me add hydrochloric acid can you see that's a bavisen gas that's what a bavisen gas okay i'm getting it lighter uh red litmus paper reaction here so it's turning sorry it's turning blue litmus uh paper red beg your pardon turn blue litmus paper red so how am i supposed to record this under my test observation and inference under the test i will say the portion of the solution you are giving okay plus plus what plus dilute hcl Okay, when I dilute with AC, I have what? Ebavisen gas, comma, colorless, odorless, turn blue litmus paper red, and turn lime water milky. Okay, you're supposed to use lime water for this reaction. When you use lime water, it will turn it what? Milky, milky. Okay, we're almost running off the experiment. Okay, the next one is, how do we test for the presence of carbonates? Okay, let's test for the presence of Carbon intended for the presence of carbonate might be making use of of uh, our barium chloride. All right, see another portion. We mean the last one. So I'm adding my barium chloride. See my barium chloride here. Yeah. Can you see? What did I get? This white chalky precipitate. White chalky precipitate. White chalky precipitate. So. How do I record it? My portion of the solution, okay, plus barium chloride. My observation will be what? White chalky precipitate. And my inference will be CO32 minus, comma, SO32 minus, comma, and SO42 uh, minus, comma. These are the substances that can have white precipitate with uh, uh, barium chloride, even S2 minus. S2 minus. So how do I know? And then I detect that it's exactly uh, CO3 to minus. So I'm going to be adding my hydrochloric acid in SS. Okay, if I can you see it with evaporescence. Okay, that's hydrochloric acid. You add it in SS, it's going to dissolve. The solution must dissolve. Okay, can you see the solution is dissolving? Can you see? Can you see it's dissolving? Can you see? Yeah. I guess the solution is already dissolved. Can you see? It's soluble. That means in excess hydrochloric acid, the solution is what? Is soluble. Okay? Dissolved in excess. Okay? And you can see a brick effervescence there, which shows the presence of CO2. Okay? To differentiate this from a, a SO2 gas, SO2 will have a, a, a kind of... Um, a matchy smell, something like that, okay? But this one is as uh, it's colorless, you can see the gas, it's odorless, and if you test it with this paper, of course, it will turn blue litmus paper red. Okay, now, the, the, the last experiment we are going to uh, undergo now is, let's see if they ask us to confirm the presence of CO2 in this uh, presence of, yes, CO3 in this reaction. So, I want to make use of my phenolphthalein to see what will happen to this reaction. Okay, when I use phenol, see the last one, I'll see my phenolphthalein. Alright, see my phenolphthalein. It's supposed to turn pink. Can you see it? So, it confirms that in this reaction, I have what? I have CO23 minus present. This is a pink coloration. This is a fun. Of course, I'm going to leave. The table after this uh, experiment, uh, I will leave a full table uh, for our consumption. Okay, thank you for watching my video and thank you for subscribing. Keep subscribing.
uh, this is the number one outstanding channel that is giving outstanding information in outstanding chemistry. Thank you. See you. All the best in your exam. Good luck.